hello everyone welcome to another tutorial today I'm going to show you how to create a project model modeling and texturing inside cinema 4d using the cinema 4d software and Photoshop for texturing so let's get started as you can see this is what we're going to be creating just like this one but we're going to uh, choose the strawberry yogurt for this uh, for this tutorial so let's get started first let's create a cylinder let's go to uh, viewports and go to front port options configure and go to back let's drag this this picture here change the office to be in the center of the sphere the cylinder Let's control the cylinder here. Let's place it well. Just like this. Good. Now, let's go here. Sorry. Good cylinder caps and remove the caps. Make it detachable. Select uh, lines or edges and go select rectangle selection and hold control. Drag this one. Select scale. Scale it up a little. Click space to select the previous uh, tool. Drag it using holding control and doing this until we reach the top of the uh, model Exactly like this. Now, uh, let's go here and let's select all the polygons using Ctrl A and right click uh, polygons, right click and uh, extrude, create, check create gaps and extrude it a little bit. Just like this, go to lines, uh, loop, but cut, and uh, add a cut here. Let's go to this one here, select lines and select this line here. Click on, uh, you can just hold control and drag it a little bit. and right click weld and create close this polygon hole now uh, you can select this one dissolve it let's add a new cuts one here and one here let's go to uh, add a subdivision surface alt alt and Add a subdivision surface for it. Let's go here, polygons, select loop selection, select this loop here, and uncheck create gaps. And let's drag it up a little bit. Let's go to loop cut and let's cut it. A little bit here and here all right let's go back to this one 
through the inner. And then right click, extrude it a little bit. To look like this. Perfect. Now let's go back and let's go to cup here. Let's add a new cylinder in the same coordination with the all of the previous one. This one, hold control and go to cylinder, create one. Drag it outside the subdivision surface and let's drag it here. And let's place it exactly with the, the cover of the yogurt product. Just like this and go and remove caps. Go here in the so make it to the table, go to lines and select this one uh, and drag it a little bit, scale it down, hold space, go uh, click space exactly like this until we get what we want. Exactly like this. Now uh, let's go and uh, let's scale it down a little bit and let's go to weld, close this polygon hole and let's uh, go to polygon, select the whole object and through it create gaps or just uh, before doing this we're gonna go to loop selection and uh, let's add another cut here loop selection and let's drag it down a little bit Let's add a subdivision surface, see what's going on right here. Nice, let's add some cuts. Perfect. Now select the whole object and go to extrude, caps, and extrude it a little bit just like this now I think we have done the modeling save the project as yogurt tutorial let's uh, save it now let's pass to UV mapping click on the layout and choose body paint UV edit all right before doing this yeah before doing this let's go back to standard and uh, let's select yeah i forgot this let's go to loop selection select all these polygons here and add a cut here So we don't uh, we don't uh, have any problem with that. Oh. And then let's go here, love selection. Let's select this one. Yeah, perfect. And select this one. 
Now go to select and set selection. Same thing doing I'm going to do, into, to do into this one. Sorry. And go to select set selection. Now we're going to name this one body and this one top. Let's right click and current state object and right click and current state object. Then let's add a new and name it back up. Drag these two guys to it. Hide it. And let's go to body. We have this selection here. Let's right click on it and split. This one gonna be body uh, text texture and the top also right click and split this one gonna be texture all right a saved project and go back to body pen to the edit and let's go here on the UV wizard, UV wizard here, and deselect all, select the body texture, next, and we have this body here, and select the same thing to uh, deselect all and the top texture, and there we go. Now we have this polygons textured. This uh, UVs, I mean. This one will be body texture, and this one will be top texture. So let's go back to body and go to layers, create another new layer and uh, go to colors and select the black color of course the black color and let's go to UV mapping <coughs> UV uh, projection and choose spherical or sphere sure and now let's go back to layers and go to layer outline polygons so as you can see, we have all the polygons outlined with black. Go to file, save texture as, change it to PSD, OK. And here will be body dot texture. Here we go. We have this one here. It's not that we didn't have to add that. Let's go back to materials, the top texture, and let's uh, let's select the rectangle selection. Add a new layer, of course, and the rectangle selection. Select to all polygons. Go to layer outline polygons. They are outlined with black. So let's go to File, Save Texture As, and PSD, Top Text. All right, let's go back to Standard, Save the Project, and let's go to Photoshop. We have the body text here, and we have the top text here. Now let's go to Photoshop, let's drag the body here. And we have this one. So what we're gonna do is gonna add a texture in the black area because it t it's the only uh, area that we used to outline the polygons. So first let's add I have some uh, this uh, PNG uh, pack here. I'm gonna provide the download also. Let's go here and let's go to 
rectangle at all let's add a rectangle right here right click on it let's place it in the same with the with the black one there now let's uh, change the color click here to open the blending the branding, I guess what's its name blending options and go to gradient enable it it shows some some uh, pink look like strawberry something look like strawberry all right okay let's uh, right click free transform it and exactly now let's go and add another rectangle tool here let's add a let's free transform it a little bit in this place we're gonna add the logo let's right click on it uh, convert to smart object add a new layer select the three layers and merge layers go here select this one and delete it let's add a new layer let's uh, switch to white and sorry and let's add it in the bottom all right now let's go to the png pack and let's add this um, this logo. Sorry, what's going on here? And let's add this PNG logo here. Let's place it in this place here. Place it well. In the top of course and uh, let's add some shadow to it drop shadow great now let's go and add some uh, splash let's add this splash here let's uh, rotate it to the top scale it down a little bit all right let's go here uh, rasterize our object and go here select this place all right Let's deselect it and uh, select it on another side. Right click and layer via copy. So let's add some uh, uh, some strawberries, I think. This one will be better. Sorry. Let's add another strawberry. This one. Make it under this one. And let's add another strawberry. This one.
All right. Let's add a. Uh, what are we gonna add now? Add some leaves. Leaves. To this strawberries. Just right here. And let's copy it by holding Alt and Shift. Let's create another copy here. Right click on it and let's transform it. And let's rotate it a little bit here. And uh, this one to uh, free transform. This one, free transform. Okay, let's take them under the strawberry. As you can see, now let's add a layer to the top of them. This layer that we copied previously, let's go to erase some some extra extra options here Perfect. Now let's save the project. Let's go and add another splash. Another uh, yes, another splash. Let's place it here. Let's scale it down a little bit. It will come exactly from. From the the top. Under the strawberries, and then let's add a strawberry here. Just right here. Let's take this flash and this strawberry and move them a little bit. And let's go to splash, right click and rasterize, and let's delete some extra. Now let's add some extra details. Uh, what we're gonna add now is let's add some this logo here, natural. Scale it down and let's place it here in the top corner. Now let's select this. This one will be now. Let's select the layer and the strawberry, except the logo. All right. Now let's add this uh, bar code here. This bar code will be here. Place it here. We are doing just a simple. Uh, <coughs> Change the color to, of the barcode to, to be white. That's doing a simple tutorial, so uh, to do not waste time. Let's add these values also.
all right let's change the color of the values to be white and let's go to let's add some uh, extra details for example let's add this um, the screen leaf here natural oh sorry are doing a simple uh, design so if you when you have time when you have time we can uh, you can uh, create a perfect one just doing a simple design to show you how it's done inside uh, Cinema 4D and uh, Photoshop. How we can texture any any uh, model. So let's take this as a simple design. Let's save it, and if we go to our model here, and let's go to body and go to color here let's reload the image and here we go we have this this model here let's go to top uh, body texture and scale it up sorry body texture and scale it up a little uh, without the Y and there we go it's a simple model we use it to show you how it's done now let's go back to Photoshop and let's go to let's uh, add the second uh, second one here the top text let's open it as you can see, let's add this uh, tool here. Let's add one. Let's uh, free transform it to be in the same coordinations with this one here. Exactly. Now we have our Let's change the color to be black. We have our uh, workflow. Let's add a new layer. Let's uh, color it with white. Now, what we're going to add is add this logo first of all. Let's add the logo. And place it in the top and let's add some uh, this strawberry here we are doing uh, a simple A simple model, a simple design. It's not a something uh, professional. Let's drag the strawberry up, and then let's mirror these two layers, and they change the them to look white exactly now let's uh, go here change the uh, the gradient and go here and change the color to look like something pink 
course now let's go and add some extra details for example let's add this this one here and let's add this uh, on the top of it let's go here and let's delete some of this component for example let's add a shadow for uh, the logo let's make it drop some shadows and for this one also Let's uh, drop shadows and sorry. All right, let's add a strawberry here. Let's add a let's add this logo here, for example. As I said, this is, a, this is a simple tutorial to show you how to create a product uh, inside Cinema 4 using Photoshop for texturing. So I think uh, this is enough for it. Yeah, let's go and uh, uh, let's save this. And let's see what we got inside Cinema 4D. Let's go to the texture and let's go to color, reload the image. And here we go. Let's change the, we didn't add the color. Actually. This one is, is black. Let's use this. Let's go and let's uh, mirror these layers. And let's go and select this one. Let's make it black. Let's select it. Let's go here, mirror layers and let's go and select invert and delete it D and let's add a new layer let's make it white let's save this one let's go and let's reload the image and here we go we have this model here as you can see let's save it now let's place it a little bit inside this one now what we're gonna do create a texture let's add some some reflectance to it add a ggx Change this to additive and give it 3% reflection. Add it 
and uh, yeah sorry three percent and let's copy this one take it here paste it sorry in this in the body one Wow, it's the same. Good. Get the reflectance. Paste it here. And get the sanding material for the body. The rest of it. Change it to white a little bit. Reflectance. Paste this one. Increase it to eight percent. Drag it to body, and let's copy it. Let's change the color to to be like pink, and add it to the top. There we go. Now let's add a uh, some. I stood you for this. Let's take the pin, pin tool, and let's uh, draw some uh, some uh, lines here and here. Right click, create points, create one here and one here. Good spline, and change the type to B spline. Let's uh, drag it a little bit to the top and uh, let's add a uh, extruder for it object and change it to 1500 or Five thousand. Let's drag it in the bottom, and it's good. Let's place it well under the exactly under this model. Now let's rotate this model here. It's Group this one. Let's rotate this model a little bit here. Good. Now let's add another copy. This one will be in the bottom. And let's place it right here. Perfect. And now let's add some textures for the ground. Let's give it, for example, a gradient. Change it to to the U or to the V. Change this one to to be pink. like strawberry and this one too and add it to this can add this one and change it to you perfect Let's add a camera protection to the camera. And now let's add a lightning. For example, let's add a, a uh, cube here. 
this other one here let's assign let's assign this material to it change this material to luminance to 200 brightness to 200 percent and let's copy this one to this place let's go and let's add a uh, an hdr picture hdri let's drag this one here and uh, we don't want to copy it and let's add a sky object assign the material to it right click composition and disable scene by camera let's go to camera here let's drag this here a little and this one too let's go and let's add uh, some extra details for the rendering this uh, enable uh, global illumination and uh, the initial is into paste let's test the render before that let's, uh, let's enable some ambient occlusion let's close this workshop add an ambient occlusion and this is the render We forgot to drag this up a little bit, this texture, because when we render it, we're not going to see it. And this uh, decrease the transparency to 5%, and this render it. So this is the rendering. I, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's uh, good for a uh, for tutorial for beginners and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this is the end of it and thanks for watching see you in the next upcoming tutorial uh, by the way all the files will be available to download in the link in the description the HDRI pictures and the PNGs these all all these PNGs and um, also the project file. Thanks for watching and see you in the next upcoming tutorial.